What's going on guys, I'm Nugent Gamer and welcome back to our Black Ops 2 commentary and today in this video I'm going to be telling you guys my final thoughts on Black Ops 2 now that Ghost is coming out in a couple of months. So anyway this is an S&D gameplay on lead play and I actually get a bunch of kills and almost wipe out their whole team in the last couple of rounds. Uh, the first few rounds are a bit boring but I still chose this gameplay because the other gameplay I have is quite campy and a bit boring so I chose this one because the last couple of rounds are pretty awesome, I get my score streaks and all that stuff so yeah. Anyway so to the commentary, so now that I've had almost as I might have 10 days so far actually now, but I'm not even sure. But I've had 9 or 10 days gameplay so far on Black Ops 2. And I just wanted to tell you guys my thoughts on it. So, the weapons overall, now that they've like, patched the snipers and patched the SM not the, yeah, the SMGs actually. And they've actually have patched a few of the assault rifles. So overall, I think that the weapon balancing has turned out pretty decent. And there's no weapon in the game that is really, really underpowered or overpowered. So, yeah, that's pretty good, like, the snipers, in my opinion, they didn't really need to patch them, but I'm not going to argue because, yeah, you don't really want to have an occasion like an MW2 happen again where everyone just uses snipers or you get sniper lobby and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's, I'm not really going to complain too much that they patch the snipers, even though I'm not really a fan of it. Um, like, at the, at the beginning, I thought the Scorpion Evil was really, really underpowered, if that's what you call it because it had so much recoil that it was just unreal. But now that I think about it, like if you have a certain playstyle or if you use it properly and rush, like the gun is really, really good if you use it properly. So yeah, in my opinion, I think like every gun in this game has good points and bad points and no gun is really bad or really, really good at the same time. So yeah, I think overall they've done really well with gun balancing. Um, assault rifles, you know, all pretty good in their own way. As SMGs actually, they're all pretty decent. If you use them right, the Peacekeeper was a DLC weapon, so that can't really be overpowered or anything like that. So they've done well with that. Not making it overpowered, but also not making it absolutely horrible. The shotguns, actually, the M1216, I thought it was really bad, but when I play in this game, some people are actually really, really good with it. So yeah, I'm not going to say much about the shotguns being like overpowered or underpowered because they've done pretty decent with them. Um, also, like, with the KSG, it has really good range, but at the same time, if you're not accurate with it, then you're not going to get a kill. So, yeah, just overall, they've done well with the gun balancing. And the maps, now that I've played the game a lot, um, and actually I haven't bought the DLC, so I can't really comment too much on that, but I've heard good things about it. So, yeah, that's basically all I can say. But playing on the maps that you begin with in the game, there's no map in this game that I would definitely skip. Like, every map has, like, good points, and I get my good games on basically every map. Uh, every now and then so yeah I'm not gonna there's no real map that I would definitely skip and is really bad to me so yeah overall I think I'm pretty decent with the maps some of the maps are kind of more annoying than others at some times with some of the players in this game but yeah you can't really build that too much in the game and overall I think they've done pretty decent with the maps in this game and all the maps are actually pretty decent looking like none of them are really really bland or none of them have too much grass or really annoying things like rain all the time so yeah that's pretty good and also overall with the general gameplay, like you don't get randomly knifed now in this game, you need to actually shoot the player and you know use skill I guess. So most of the time if you run into a guy you're actually gonna win if you have more skill than the other player. And you know, it's just less annoying things in the game overall. And um, you know the guns work when you want them to, like you don't get randomly one shotted by a guy when you're in a gunfight sometimes, like you don't just get randomly killed in two shots. Instantly, sometimes you don't get insta killed randomly by some guns, so that's really good. Um, you know, it's pretty much all fair, all gun skill for the most part. If you know what you're doing, you're gonna win the game and do well. Um, you know, if you know the spawns, you're gonna, you know, do well. If you know how to, if you have good gun skill and if you know the maps and all that stuff, you know the spawns, you're gonna do well. Uh, unlike in some games where people just abuse things about the game, like FMG nines, and uh, for MW three. Uh, MW2 had noob tubes and quick scopes, obviously, so that's just it's so annoying. And even really, really bad players can abuse noob tubes. Um, and just, yeah, there's just a bunch of things in every other game that is really, really annoying and just kind of breaks the game. So, overall, I think they've done pretty well with the gameplay because there's just nothing that really, really stands out as really annoying in this game. At least, you know, when you're paying attention to what you're doing like sometimes there will be the obvious things that are really really annoying like campers and stuff but if you're overall you know if you know what you're doing you're going to do well so there's not going to be really too much stupid things that happen in this game 
Um, score streaks were pretty cool. You know, they had a wide range of score streaks, and they done well with the whole score streak system overall. Because I forgot that they changed it from kill streaks to begin with. So yeah, they done pretty well with the score streaks. And I actually like how they work out if you cap flags and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty good. I hope they, that they uh, continue with that in Ghosts, which I think they actually will. And yeah, just overall, I think the game is pretty good. You've obviously got the annoying things like try hard players, bad lobbies, like people using really annoying classes, um, people camping in corners and stuff, uh, using riot fields and all that. But yeah, just overall, it's less frustrating than other games. Not to say that this game isn't frustrating at all, there's some really annoying things about it. But overall, I think it's better than the older Call of Duty games overall. So yeah, that's basically what I have to say, guys. If you disagree with me, leave them in the comments below. I know the whole thing's about saying that the um, if you know what you're doing in the game, then you're going to do well because some people are going to disagree with that. And yeah, that's kind of how it works. But overall, in my opinion, when I played the game, when I actually tried and paid attention to what I was doing, I've done pretty well. So anyway. Yeah, so anyway, that is my video, guys. And leave your comments below on what you guys think of Black Ops 2 and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.